Oh, Sheila. Hello, Paul. Hey, thanks. Uh, judging from your desk here, it's, you're really busy. So thanks for taking time out of your day. Mm -hmm. um, what we'd like to talk about is uh, I'm an agent. I go on my listing appointment. It's going to be a short sale. Everything looks great. Um, get going with the seller. Get my O&E report back. And there's a $10,000 federal tax lien. Um, is my short sale dead now or... No, it's a very doable deal. IRS is really good with regards to releasing or doing a certificate of discharge, which will lift that lien from that property um, so you can move forward to closing. Um, the timing is something that you need to uh, get down because first you got to get that short sale approved. Second, you send the file in um, along with the application for a certificate of discharge along with all of the supporting documents it's going to ask for, one of those being an appraisal. So the homeowner is going to need to pay for an appraisal and they really need to get that done while the short sale is in process because you don't want to wait because with all these appraisers right now, they are backlogged. So it could take them two or three weeks to get all that right. appraisal done. Yeah. So get it ordered now, get that appraisal done. So when the short sale is approved, you can finish packaging that file. So you can't do these simultaneously. No. I mean, you have to have a short sale approval. You have right? to have the short sale approval. You have to have the actual payoffs. You have to have property tax information. You have to have comps. You have to have title report showing the lien. You have to have a copy of the liens, copy of that judgment, that federal tax lien. Um, so you want to follow those instructions to a T. So when you're sending it into the IRS, it looks pristine because they would be more inclined to pick up that file than a messy one that has no order to it whatsoever. And it's missing stuff. Um, there are documents in there that the homeowner, the application that they're going to need to fill out. Um, also, um, the IRS, and the one thing, you, you don't want to be trying to release a lien when the seller is... Um, you know, not in a short sale situation and getting equity back, getting money back at the closing table. This really only is good beneficial to a homeowner if they're upside down and they're getting nothing at the closing table. If they're getting co-op money or half a money, um, if it's $3,000, there's a form that they can fill out, package in their file, asking the IRS not to take that money to please allow the homeowner to receive that money at the closing table. Um, now, if you're in a co-op with Chase or Bank of America and you're getting a sizable amount of money back, like twenty-five or 30000 the IRS is going to look twice at that. They may want some of that money. Uh, because it doesn't take twenty-five to thirty thousand dollars to move, so I did have one just recently that closed um, federal tax lien, sizable amount, and it was just as much as the co-op. It was yeah. like twenty-four thousand okay. dollars, and we did the you know request that they didn't take the money. The homeowner was very um, in; he was involved with this as well. He was communicating with the IRS and negotiating a settlement amount, not to forgive him of the tax lien, right. but to lift the lien if they got some of that money. And they agreed to $4,500. So wow. he still got a sizable amount at the closing table. So the most important thing is timing. You want to make sure short sale gets approved first, then you send your package to the IRS. Um, the IRS says it could take up to 30 days. Okay. Um, now, with my experience in doing the federal tax lien, you know, certificate of discharge, um, they take maybe a week to two weeks. But I think it really mm. depends on what office you're sending that package to. The one in Denver is outstanding. They do a, they do a great job. We had a federal tax lien show up at the end when the title company did their final search to make sure nothing else was on that property oh, that they needed to closing. be. Oh my, it was, we had already closed. We were wow. closing, we closed in escrow because we were still waiting for final approval of the HUD from Bank of America. And in the meantime, we get a $10,000 federal tax lien against the property. Wow. So now we're scrambling. Thank heaven, 
the buyer had an appraisal already done. So the buyer's lender or the buyer shared that with us. So we packaged it in our package, sent it over. They had that lien released within 48 hours. So it's really not they were scary. Wonderful. No, not scary at all. And it's a very doable short sell. Now, your lender, though, um, you know, because, you know, the approval letters are, are time sensitive. They expire. It are... You know, are they savvy and aware of knowing that you have to go through this process too before closing and, and allowed extra time? Or? No, no, you're not. So if you, you're you running up, you know, against the expiration date, you're going to want to contact that negotiator and request an extension due to the fact that you're working out that IRS lien. Now, the problem might be that negotiator may require, well, before I can extend this, I need a copy of that certificate of discharge. Okay. So we need to know that the IRS, because we're not going to waste our, our time on extending this if that lien is not going to get released. Right. So that could be um, an exception to the rule, and they may just say, hey, before we'll extend it, we want a copy of that certificate of discharge okay. to sure. know that we're not wasting our time. How can we get uh, the information you talked about from your magical short sale company, like the form to fill out or you oh, know, okay. instructions well, or the same thing? Well, you can go right to our website, uh, www.integrityrea.net. Um, go to Sheila's World. You can send us an email. We'll be more than happy to send it to you. Um, or I think that you're going to put it on the documents page, yeah, aren't I will. you? The We're links? starting to see more of these, so I'll... Yeah. I'll put them on the documents page with a half of documents and the full, you know. Perfect. So you right. can just go ahead and go right there, pick them up, fill them out, um, or just send us an email. We'll be more than happy to get back with you and attach those links, send them out to you so you can start, you know, packaging that file. Wow. But it's a really, you know, I've not had an IRS tax lien kill a short sale. We were able to lift them at all times. It's just be very meticulous. Make sure the timing is correct, and don't forget anything in that package. Okay? Okay. Well, as always, you're a breath of fresh air, Sheila. Thank you. For well, time. so are you, Paul. <laughs> you guys have a wonderful week, and we'll talk to you next week. Bye.